Welcome to our St. Mary's Gales Baseball Weekend Review Preview from the week of ending Friday, April 14th through Tuesday, April the 18th, 2023. The St. Mary's Gales uh, segment Weekend Review Preview is presented by Tickets for Less. No fees, no savings. We'll never add per ticket service fees at checkout. The price you see is the price you pay. Visit ticketsforless.com to plan for your next event. So if the ga- the Gales end up having a great weekend, completing a series sweep over the Pacific Tigers. They win game one six to two, and they then Saturday thirteen to four. Then on Sunday, sweeping the their first sweep, first time in over a year, fifteen to seven over the Tigers of Pacific. They win their midweek game. They end up earning a split. 14-2 over the UC Davis Aggies up at Dobbins Family Field in Moraga as the Gales end up scoring seven times in the ninth inning to put that game to put that game away. So we'll talk with Greg Moore. It was just a, a um, uh, an off, the, you know, w- winning that series over the weekend, uh, and then got over the weekend. Let's recap it. Yeah, we did a great job with the bats, you know, in two ways. We let some things come to us as far as taking walks, but our guys swung it well as well. We hit a lot of balls hard, you know, the home runs show up, but there were quite a few balls that we hit hard. And then I thought our pitchers did a really good job game one, game two. Game three, we didn't quite pitch as well, but um, overall, you know, three out of the last four games, I really liked how the uh, the staff is thrown and that offense is, uh, they're putting up some runs right now in different ways. It's fun to watch. And then uh, you know, fourteen to two on on third on the Tuesday for the midweek game, and then you know, and then uh, it's the you know, Gavin Napier, or Coleman Schmidt, I should say, uh, he had had a home had three extra base hits, three more um, three more extra base hits. He had a home run and he hit a pair of doubles in the win over the Aggies. Yeah, you're seeing him get hits in many different ways. He's driving the ball. Uh, like he did on Tuesday, he got a breaking ball up. He just turned his barrel to it, and it got out. He's strong. And then you're seeing some good flat path. He's staying on it. He's getting some balls down the line, but he's also driving balls the other way. That's the sign of a good hitter when you're doing it to all fields and in a lot of different ways. You're pretty hard to beat, but you're also a really good hitter. And also Christian Almanza had a great – had a well of a series. He was named the Bay Alarm Player of the Week by the Student Athlete Player of the Week from uh, smcgales.com. He has continued to get better and better and better. Yeah, he had a great weekend. Uh, one of those that if you look at it closely, you don't forget. He was on base over 70, 70% of the time, over 700 on base. And then his slugging was about, uh, I think, 1,300. So he did something that you rarely see. You rarely see a guy produce like that Ooh. on a weekend. But that's that's another sign. Man, I've game. been we are off record, off the phone, uh, talking with uh, our, our protege, our mentor, former Don's uh, head coach, New Jerry Tyler, is just flirting about this guy for the record straight. Sure. He's just flirting about him. I mean, if he was, if he was, um, if he was here, they'd be talking the art of hitting all day and all night until the cows come home. Yeah. They would. He's doing a great job. Uh, he's, he's really learned to stay, you know, through the hitting surface, and you see it. You can always see the ball, but that swing is pretty impressive right now. Strength has always been. Now let's uh, forward the page. Uh, now we're getting ready for the big one. This now is the big series against the Loyola Marymount Lions in West Coast Conference play. As we're doing this taping, the the Lions have just arrived. That they're getting ready to have their. Um, their final walkthrough preparations for this uh, big series right now. The gate or the, the Lions are twelve and three. They are three up on, of the have kind of sort of a separation. Three up on the other teams are trying to ch- chase them, including the Gales. For three out there, it's a three-way tie for second place, and only uh, really only one game separating the five of the six teams. And BYU is is in that sixth spot. Uh, tied, but virtue of their head-to-head season series win over the over the Broncos and the the right now uh, the Gales right now would have a have a two-game lead over both BYU and Santa Clara and three up 
on Pepperdine. And as we begin this stretch drive for the Gales, this is a big series uh, where you can, you know, you pretty much math realistically and mathematically, you have to, if you win all three, you'll be in first place. Yeah, I mean, we just play, and that's that's how we'll go about it this weekend. Can't get caught up too much in what everybody else is doing. We just need right. to come have our, our pitchers execute, have our hitters hit the baseball when it crosses the plate, and our defense will continue to play like it's playing. But uh, we're just we're going to come in here and work at the game. We're going to win the thirds, and it just doesn't stop for us. It's, it's a fun little routine to get into. You don't, you don't change much. You just make the game the challenge and continue to work. Well, of course, uh, this team, uh, I think four years ago, played, uh, ended up playing, before, ended up playing good LMU for the West Coast Conference Championship, and uh, the Gales lost that tough one in that first game, nearly won that game that would have sent to an extra game if they would have won that game because they would have to beat LMU twice to, to win the conference tournament to go to a regional. LMU end up winning that um, first game on their one of two possible tries and end up uh, nearly knocking off UCLA, top-ranked UCLA Bruins in the uh, Los Angeles region down in Westwood four years ago, which before the, um, the previous previous predecessor ended up leaving to take the coaching gig at Long Beach State before you took over. So it's kind of this, this series this weekend bringing things into proper, into a perspective. Yeah, we're, we're here to play the series. You get three of them, probably 27 innings, maybe a couple extras, and that, that's all we're looking for. So we'll, we'll come ready to play tomorrow. And then let's uh, – one more thing, the state of the uh, the facility, the stadium is – the seats are are getting – it's getting real close. So, so we may be looking at towards the mid-May against San Diego, San Diego for the final series of the year. Um, yeah, know. that's that's what we're targeting right now. And, and the guys down the line have done a great job of getting fans in. So, you know, families have been able to come see, but we're excited to get the stadium open. It's looking really good. You can it's looking good with all that rain, multiple rain delays over the last uh, few months, and we needed that river rain for a while. But I think it's well worth it, though. The, and I like to commend for all the, the for the players. Uh, they did not complain. And there's nothing they have no control. They got their work in and still staying after, regardless of the um, of, of the um, of the weather conditions throughout the past uh Three and a half, four months, though. So. They don't whine. They don't complain. They don't make excuses. Right. They're, they're that's right. Man. That's, that's how they go about it. And if we slip, we get back on it. And uh, they're, they're really good. They just they don't care. They want to be together and, and work together. That's that's the fun that they have. All right, Greg. Thank go you, get them. Okay, that's Greg Moore. The Gales right now sitting in a three-way tie for second right there with Portland and Gonzaga. And this is a little uh, look at the West Coast Conference standings. Loyola Marymount has a three-game lead over the three teams that are trying to catch LMU for the top spot in the West Coast Conference. And it's um, then it's Portland and the Gales. Gales already beaten Portland. They have that first tiebreaker, Gonzaga. They will play the, the Bulldogs up in Spokane in two weeks from tomorrow. And then in three weeks, they'll play the San Diego Toreros right here at Moraga to close out the home sling. And then BYU is uh, right now holds the sixth position. Them and Santa Clara both tied for that last spot. BYU do have the tiebreaker because they beat the Gales two out or beat the Broncos two out of three. And then the, the last three, Pepperdine sits only at six and nine, only a game back of, of both BYU and Santa Clara. Then it's the San Francisco is two games out of the final playoff spot, and then Pacific were starting to or pretty much are fading out or four games back. This is the West Coast Conference slate for this weekend. Gonzaga will be at Portland. That's a big series. Then here the Gales and the and the and the Lions here in Moraga, and then Pepperdine will take on Pacific up in Stockton. The BYU Cougars are starting a three-game set. As we're doing this taping tonight on this Thursday, they're a non-conference against uh, University of North Carolina Greensboro. Catch all the action for all three of games, Friday at 3, Saturday and Sunday afternoon at 1 p.m. Catch all the action on WCCSports.com as Tim Fitzgerald and Griffin Snyder with the play-by-play -play action right here in Moraga on the campus of St. Mary's. Latest news on Gales Athletics and so much more, go to SMCGales.com. 
www.thepatriotsocialist.com. For now, this is I'm Brian Professor B. Davis. Thank you for watching the St. Mary's Gales Baseball Weekend Review and Preview on SMC TV.